Hello everyone, welcome to Ineffable Intech. Today's tutorial will be on how to calculate the interest on your credit cards to get your balances down to zero. So let's open up Excel and in our first cell we will be putting in the name of the credit card. So let's go ahead and put credit card and in the cell Following that, we'll put, for instance, Amex. You can put Visa, MasterCard, whatever. Secondly, we want to get uh, the actual interest rate for your credit cards. So we'll put interest rate here, and let's say we have an interest rate of, I don't know, uh, 26%. So the way we do that is uh, we want to represent a monthly interest rate and to get a monthly interest rate we have to turn 26 percent into a decimal for each month the way we do that simple let's go into a separate cell and go ahead and type uh, 0.2699 turn that into a decimal and the cell after that we want to get the interest rate for each month so uh, annually there's 12 months uh, we want to divide 0 0.266 by 12 we could do that like this uh, typing in e2 uh, divided by f f2 and that's your monthly interest rate uh, let's see uh, we want to pay this credit card down to zero and we want to do it in say 12 months so we'll put period and we'll put 12 months and let's say the current value or present value of the credit card is $7,317.86. Let's say the future value uh, is zero. We want to get it down to zero. Okay, and we'll put in the final cell, we'll put um, payment because we will be making consistent payments to get this balance of $7,317.86 down to zero. So the question is, what will this payment be to get this balance down to zero? Well, make sure that your cursor highlights this last cell, B6. Let's go ahead and open the formula builder and type in the search engine PMT for payment. And as I type in PMT, uh, it starts to come up. Double click. And now we're going to start inserting each of these cells uh, in the payment formula builder. So in rate, well, we got our monthly rate that is represented by B2 uh, following our periods, which would be 12 following our present value, which will be $7,317.86. And our future value, what we want is zero. And type, let's leave this blank because type will help us get the payment we need for each month. Click done. Voila, $702.61 is what we need to pay each month to bring that balance down to zero throughout the course of 12 months. Okay, now the second part of this tutorial will be actually uh, outlining how much interest we will be paying each month on this balance. And if there's any new purchases, what that interest and balance would look like. So go ahead into cell A8 and start typing in amortization, period. So we'll have 12 months to pay this credit card off. Uh, the cell beneath that, let's put the number one. And the cell beneath that, let's go ahead and put uh, A9. So the number one in cell A9 plus one. That'll give us two. The cell underneath that, let's go ahead and put A10 plus one. Be three. And let's just drag it this down. There we go. 
I'll leave it 13 periods, but we're going to calculate for 12. Okay, so right after that, we want to put uh, the payment. How much will we be paying? Or no, better yet, opening balance. What will the opening balance be on the credit card for each month after we make the payment? Uh, we want to also put the payment that we're making, which would be $702. Uh, the interest uh, we'll be paying each month that will always change uh, the principal the principal on each payment we're paying and as well as the ending balance for each month okay let's go ahead and also insert another cell actually we'll do that at the end Okay, so our opening balance. Our opening balance is represented by this figure right here, okay, in the first month. Just press enter. Now the payment we'll, we will be making each month will be $702. So if we go ahead and click this, we get $702. But what we don't want is this number to be neg. We don't want this to be red. In order to remove this red, we have to put a minus sign by it okay and the minus sign uh, make sure is rep represents the fact that we will be paying down a balance as opposed to uh, receiving seven hundred and two dollars which won't be the case and being that this interest will be constant uh, this payment I'm sorry this payment will be constant each month uh, we wanna hang them okay and what I mean by hanging is by putting a dollar sign by each of these each of these each of the cell and the number okay go ahead and click enter okay so this will stay the same regardless okay we can go ahead and drop it down too okay uh, the interest what will the interest be the interest will be on each balance for each month uh, the current balance which is represented in this right here okay and we want to also multiply that by the interest the interest is right here monthly interest of 0 0.02249 uh, but the interest rate always stays the same because it's 26.99 percent annually what we're gonna do is again hang it so let's hang B and let's hang two what you get is hundred and sixty four dollars the principal what would the principal be after we deduct uh, the interest from each payment well let's find out let's highlight this C9 702 dollars and minus it by the interest we got five hundred and thirty eight dollars and our ending balance how do we get the ending balance well we'll go ahead and put the opening balance subtracted by the principal and voila okay following that now I think we're gonna have to do this a couple more times before we can automate it and drag it down so let's put the opening balance from last month into B10 and that is represented by F9 okay uh, the payment stays the same we want to stick with the same payments each month if we want to change it we can go ahead and change it here uh, but I'll show you that later. Let's go ahead and put the interest. The interest will be uh, the opening balance for this month multiplied, which is represented by an asterisk, multiplied by, uh, you got it, B2. But not just any B2, hang B, hang 2. And that's your interest for the second month uh, if you start making $702 payments. The principal. Well, again, we're going to calculate the principal by taking the payment, subtracting it from the interest, and we have $550. The balance, again, is taking the opening balance for the month and subtracting it from the principal, or subtracting the principal from the opening balance, which will give you $6,229. $6, and can we drag this down still? I don't know. Let's find out. Nope, won't let us. I think we've got to do this one more time. 
so quickly uh, F10 and put the interest rate of uh, uh, B3 B3 times hang B hang 2 and the principal is of course uh, the payment minus the interest and the ending balance will be the opening balance minus the principal okay let's see if this will work now so if we drag it down to 13 months what do we get well we get we get an interesting an interesting figure so i think this is incorrect let's do this one more time all right i think we gotta do one more cell I'm, my apologies everybody one more cell okay and give it a go before you end this um this uh show <laughs> opening balance the opening balance again is represented by the last ending balance okay and what we do after that is calculate the interest so the interest is uh, the opening balance times b2 oh gosh b2 then right after that we want to get the principal the principal is represented by the payment subtract the interest and the ending balance the ending balance is represented by the opening balance subtract the principal not not the interest okay now fingers crossed this should work and instead of dragging down uh, the first amortization period let's drag it down by the second and there you go your balance is zero at the end of 12 months. Uh, this is the interest you're paying each month. That's a lot of interest. Uh, if you want to get the sum of each interest, um, we can just go like uh, this, put the equal sign. And uh, let's, let's put sum. Sum. And wow, that's how much interest you're paying at the end. Of 12 months that's a lot uh, that's why you don't want to fall in for these high these credit cards with high interest rates if you do make sure you pay off your balance and let's not get to a seven thousand three hundred and seventeen dollar balance okay if you want to go ahead and change this figure say to if it balloons into ten thousand uh, dollars your payments go up if you're trying to pay it off in 12 months uh, your interest obviously goes up um, and yeah it doesn't look good at all uh, say if your interest your interest goes up to something ridiculous like 30 percent okay uh, what does that look like well uh, you're paying more interest than you were previously that's for sure and your annual interest your monthly payment goes up to 974 dollars all in all, folks, I hope this can help you out uh, to relieve any debt you have and to track all your payments and so you can start buying property and uh, traveling and doing all kinds of other fun stuff, uh, avoiding a debt-free slave life. Have a great rest of your evening.